Okay, um, in this example, we're told that the um, average eighth grade math score um, that we're going to call uh, that value y uh, on a national math test was um, 263 in 1990, uh, but it had risen to 279 by uh, 2005. And um, um, if we let x there uh, be the uh, elapsed uh, number of years uh, since 1990, uh, we want to write a linear function that uh, models this uh, data. And then we're going to use that linear function to answer uh, a question. Um, so actually now uh, we already found uh, this uh, linear function. We already derived the formula for this uh, linear function in a previous example. And um, the way we did that uh, is by using the point slope formula. So we calculated the slope and then uh, uh, substituted one of the points into the point slope formula uh, to derive the uh, formula for the line. Uh, here are the two points that we used, uh, 0 and 263 and uh, 15 and 279. And we found those two points by uh, considering uh, uh, this information that's given to us um, in the description of the problem. Um, so once we simplified the point slope formula, there is the um, uh, formula uh, for the linear function that models this data. It's just y, uh, that average math score, is equal to uh, 1.07 times x, x being the elapsed years again since 1990, plus uh, 263. Okay, so the main point of this example is to uh, then use uh, that um, uh, linear function formula that models that data to answer a further question. Uh, what we want to do is estimate uh, when uh, the average 8th uh, grade math score uh, would reach um, 278. All right, um, so uh, the way we're going to answer this question is uh, by solving an equation. And uh, we get that equation by uh, taking this uh, uh, score 278 and simply substituting it for y uh, in our uh, linear uh, function formula. So when we do that, we get uh, 278 is equal to 1.07 times x plus uh, 263. And now we're just going to solve this resulting equation for x. Uh, since x represents uh, a lapsed year since 1990, uh, once we uh, uh, solve this equation for x, uh, then we'll be able to estimate, uh, based on that elapsed number of years, uh, when uh, the average 8th grade math, uh, math score uh, on this test reached um, 278. Okay, so this is a fairly uh, easy equation to solve. Um, I'm just going to first here subtract uh, 263 uh, from both sides of the equation. And so when I do that, I get 1.07 times x is equal to uh, 15 because um, 278 minus 263 is 15. And now to uh, finish isolating x on the right hand side of the equation, I'm just going to divide both sides uh, by that coefficient of x, uh, which is uh, 1.07. Uh, so we get here that x is equal to 15 divided by 1.07. Uh, let me use my calculator to um, estimate that quotient. So 15 divided by 1.07, and that turns out to be approximately 14.02 uh, um, to a couple of decimal places. Ah, so that tells us that um, uh, 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 the um, um, score on this uh, math test has reached uh, 278 um, about 14 elapsed years after uh, 1990, since x represents elapsed years after uh, 1990. So um, I think uh, uh, the answer then to our question here is um, uh, that uh, uh, math score reached uh, 278 in uh, 1990, um, in 1990 plus uh, 14, uh, which is equal to um, 2004. So it was in the year 2004, we can estimate when the uh, uh, math score reached uh, that average of uh, 278.